So today we're out at Eagles Canyon Raceway on a member day and after I got done driving at Pikes Peak I learned that I really don't have the grasp I want to on how to drive the arrow of the car and how to make the most out of the arrow grip. So today my goal is to learn how to G the car up with the arrow and get it into the arrow bubble. Like get past the arrow bubble, into the arrow, use the arrow, and then try to find the limits of the car there and learn how to drive it there. And that's something that in theory I thought sounded pretty straightforward, but in reality, if I'm going to be honest, it's a little bit scarier than I thought. So I'll take some time here in this video to go over my experience with that and what the differences are and how it feels. So did another session, found another second and a half. Most of it's just trusting the car and getting the corner speed. It's been absolutely a crazy experience with how fast you can go in the fast corners. I keep trying to find the limit in turn six. At the beginning of the day, I was going into like fourth gear and tapping the brakes. Then I was going into fourth gear, not braking. Now I'm upshifting to fifth and not braking. And I still haven't found the limit. So it is just insane how quickly you can really go through some of these turns. So there's a bunch of time left out there. Just gotta go find it. And it's been working well for me to just incrementally try and bump up and just go into the corners and scare myself a little, but don't get too crazy. And then I'm trying to learn because there's a difference in how fast you're going versus how much grip you have. The faster you're going, the more grip you have with the setup, which makes absolute perfect sense but it's difficult to program your subconscious brain in the moment when you're driving to get used to that. But I really have been efforting at that and I think it's, it's paying off and it's working and it's so much fun. So there's a few different ways of doing an aero car that a lot of people do. The basic way is to start out with a splitter and then adding a wing to the car and then just using the best guess scenario on what's gonna be ideal for your car. And that's gonna give you some pretty drastic improvements over a car without any arrow, but it's not gonna get you the maximum out of a package. And you're not gonna have as easy of a time managing your center of pressure. And what the center of pressure is, is where in the car front to back is the balance of the arrow center. So if the center of pressure is back, the car will push, if it's forward, it'll be loose. So if you're just putting a splitter and a wing on, you're gonna have to go out on track and tune those things. Usually it's safer to start with the car tight or pushy, and then kind of take wing away until it balances. On a car like this, we've had our friends at Ferris Engineering scan the entire car and then set it up in CFD so we can get a baseline for what works and what doesn't on the computer so we don't have to spend as much time at the track putting wear and tear on the car and just taking guesses at it. We actually know where everything should be and then we've got shock pots on the car and our chassis engineer Scott is able to take that data and extrapolate out how reality compares to CFD which then Paul back at Virus compares that to the CFD data, makes the adjustments, and it allows us, if we do that, a few iterations of that, we'll be able to get accurate data on what's gonna affect the car, how, in CFD, and save us time and fabrication. Because on a car like this, most of the aero components are made specifically for this chassis, so that they're optimized for this chassis. So remaking all that stuff over and over and over could take years of development but by doing it the way we're doing it, we're gonna to try to get it down into months so that by the time we get to the next hill climb, we'll have the whole package sorted out and have it maximized. Well, that's a wrap for today. We're gonna get ready to put it back in the trailer. The car did great. Just kind of ran out of open track. People started getting showing up and the track got full and we really didn't have enough open track to do any more testing. So we'll have to bring it back and continue 
the procedure. Shake it, baby. 